Welcome back to another wartime video. We are currently in the Primal Force event, and this is the fifth week of the event, I believe. So some heroes have their Primal Force ability released. Not everyone is there yet, so over the course of this event, more and more heroes will get their Primal uh, abilities uh, soon. So, so far, not all, of course, you know, uh, pri basically Primal Force, in order to get the, those abilities, you, your hero has to be at five stars. Just for example, like Goron right here, he's at five star. At when it's at five star, you unlock this, um, this abilities right here. But if you tap on it, it'll tell you what it does. And then on top of that, which is the leadership, that in order to get this one unlocked, your hero has to be at level fifty, and all the abilities here has to be maxed out, which is pretty easy to do. So the, this is the tougher part right here. This is the primal abilities, and these usually give the hero uh, extra stats. It actually will give them additional about two k power once you max it out at ten out of ten. And I have a couple hero. What I mean, a couple heroes is two. They, these are very expensive actually to uh, max out. So you can see here, Zerak right here. I have his primal force, which is called outburst. If you tab on it, it'll tell you exactly what he does. It says up up on landing a critical strike. Hero gains 15% 15 all stats for 2 second non-stackable purge immune. This, for him, I've been using him for a little while, and actually he's very good with this ability. Of course, given his stats, I, I have his crit chance is almost, uh, basically 90, over 90% of the time he'll crit. So basically he's pretty much going to crit every hit. And of course, his, even though his basic attack damage is low, which is fine because I I I he has extra critical damage as well add on top of that. But what Zurak does is he attacks very quick. Given on top of that he has this troop, the the Raptor troop as well. So it gave him it gives him really really fast attacking speed. And what I notice is ever since I unlock his Primal Force, he actually does on average about fifty k damage on tanks. That's a whole lot of damage. I know there are other people that who do way more than that, but you know that's when you have you know perfect runes and all that stuff. But you know, for for from what I have on him, I'm very happy. And for those of you who are curious to what see what kind of runes I got on him, here are the runes. So I basically give him some physical ability power, basic attack speed, crit damage. In my opinion, it's very important for him to do crit, crit damage, and speed. That's basically the, the three things that's going to make him shine and make him hit really hard. And on top of that, when you unlock his Primal Force, he does an extra 15% damage of, uh, basically to all stats. That's that's incredible. So I'm, I noticed that ever since I used unlock his Primal Force, he, do, he did really, really well. I was able to take out quite a bit of top players in the arenas with just him. So... I definitely recommend you guys unlock him. It's not cheap. It costs about 2,000 tokens. Currently, uh, let's see. If you go to the Alliance Shop, Heroic Tokens, all these tokens for this event here, they're very expensive. They're not cheap. So it will cost you about 2,000 just to unlock that Primal Force. If you want to unlock the Leadership, if you so when you what Leadership is, you can send... Uh, if you have a group of heroes that... Uh, five heroes on your team right now and let's say you send them to arena you can uh, whoever you can assign the leadership whoever you want to assign the leadership to that has that unlocked you will gain additional stats so i'll give you an example for for zurak leadership is basically grants all ally 15 percent lifesteal i don't think it's worth it it costs you three thousand tokens to unlock this it costs even more than primal force so i'd rather use my tokens on the primal force than the leadership so just be careful who you unlock some of them is really not worth it and by unlocking the leadership it does not give you any extra power okay if you unlock the primal force it will give you 2k power but not for the leadership um this one paltrus here i unlock his primal force and his leadership just to kind of get to test it out and see whether you know what was it like so his leadership gives Basically, uh, let me tap on it again. It grants all allies 30% 30% damage shield penetration. So basically, any hero that produces a shield when they they go in the battle, 
you gain additional 30% breaking into the, the, the shield itself. And then his primal force is also outburst, which is very it's the same thing as um Zurek. But in my opinion, Paltris is okay. He doesn't do he does he doesn't hit as fast as Zurek does. I'm gonna show you his stats too. He has more DPS, okay? Every hit he does is you know his DPS right here you can tell is six at the the first line says basic a, a damage per second is about 17k, okay? Per second, which in turn, if you look at Zurak here, Zurak only has, I mean, 14, 15 K damage per second, which is okay. But because he hits so fast, it makes up for all that lost damage. Now, in my opinion, Zurak actually hits better. He does more damage over time compared to Paltras because Paltras, even though he hits higher, but he hits slower. So you look at his attack, basic attack cycle is about three seconds. And then, you know, I managed to knock it down to almost a little bit over two seconds. Zurak right here is, you know, he by by default, he's, he's 2.4 seconds. That's default. And then I knock it down another seven, about almost 0.8 seconds. So basically, he does, he attacks almost every one and a half seconds, a little bit more, but the, around there. So in, in, in the long run, Zurak actually does a, um, a lot more damage than Paltras. Even though when I send Paltras into battle, he will do approximately 60, 70k per hit. But it hits slower, so that's kind of... I don't think... In my opinion, I have to pick between the two. I'm definitely picking Zurak. That's just my opinion. His leadership skill is okay. By far, out of all the other heroes that we have now... I, I don't have every single hero, so there are other heroes out there that have other leadership and primal force abilities that I don't know. So but so far Paltras has somewhat the best of all the leadership that I have seen. But if you if if you ask me if I'm gonna spend three thousand to unlock it, I probably will have to think that. The best way to do this is don't unlock anything at the moment, in my opinion. Wait till the event's over, collect as many tokens as you can and then see and once all the heroes, primal force, and leadership are all out, and then you can make the choice of whether which hero you want to unlock, because it saves you a lot of money. And well, money. Well, for for those of you who are um, free to play, it doesn't cost you anything. It saves you a lot of tokens, and so you don't make mistakes. And for those of you who spend money on this game, well, depending on how much you spend, you can also save money. You do this method too. But if you spend a lot, then it doesn't really matter. Because I've seen a bunch of people. Um, in the arena that basically have all these abilities uh, for primal force and the leadership skill all unlocked and holy heck some of them are very very strong but in my opinion not not every single hero is worth unlocking so i'll i'll hold back if i were you because we still get a ton of heroes that we have no idea what their um their uh, primal force is now for tank wise so far i see yuki uh, right here is um, she gains fifty percent magical and physical defense for one hundred eighty seconds for every sixty second. That's actually pretty good. That's not bad, and it purges immune as well. So I, I think this is if you're gonna unlock a tank, I think this is a one that's worth unlocking. Uh, let's see, Aglor. He his basic attack damage taken reduced by fifteen percent. That's not too bad. I think I like Yuki a little bit more, but still, I think this one is not bad unlocking either, if uh, if you had a choice. But um, its leadership skill is not too bad either. Grant on allies forty percent physical and magical ability power. But then again, I'm not really into the the, the most of the leadership right now, just because it costs you three thousand tokens. I will wait and see which one's gonna be the best on the events over i think the event is gonna last probably another probably through the, the month of december if, 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 if i have to make a guess but we still get a ton of hero that's they don't have their um primals or leadership just yet but anyway guys that's all i want to basically go over with the primal uh, may, maybe when everything is out then we can you know look back do another video that's more comprehensive but at the moment i kind of just want to let you know what my thoughts are 
and uh, so you don't make the mistake. So hold on to your tokens. I know it's very, very hard to hold on to those tokens and not use them and spend them as you get them. I know it's tough. So far, I spent between Zurek and Paltris, I spent about 7,000 tokens already. And boy, it takes a long time to, uh, to recoup that. And so far, I only have 3,600 tokens left. So that's enough for one leadership or one primal force, but not both. So I'm gonna hold. I'm not gonna spend any more tokens unless something really, really good comes out. Other than that, I'm just gonna hold on to these until the event is over. And if I happen to spend on some, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know it's been a while since I made a video, uh, so I will make video here and there. I'm not gonna be all the time, but I'll try my best. Anyway, good seeing you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next video.